Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we'll take a look at a comic book, a comic strip that I wanted to cover for a long, long time and it's uh, Calvin and Hobbes, um, sure this is a bit older but yeah, what can I say, um, this has brought me so much fun times and I have to say my life wasn't always as beautiful as it is right now and sometimes I didn't even know that I was in dark times but I can tell you one thing uh, Calvin and Hobbes uh, from the first time I did read it um, provided me just with so much fun and so much um, how can I say light-hearted moments and also like the writing, the adventures, the drawings. And I also want to cover this because um, when we're talking about comics, um, we shouldn't forget like the comic strips and that there are different styles. I mean, not everybody has to look like a Jim Lee or Mark Silvestri. Um, I want to say au contraire or even the contrary. Sometimes, I mean, look at this frog and... Um, just like black and white comic strips. This reminds me a lot um, to a time when there were like uh, comic strips like Garfield, Peanuts, um, what else? Hagar, the Viking. And um, back in the days I didn't used to have or, or buy comics. Like um, there was like the newspaper and on Sundays or a, a, a couple of times a week you could find a comic strip and I was kind of um, cutting them all out and creating my own collection and I was collecting them and reading them and that's probably a bug, a bug um, that everyone who draws or everyone who... I mean, I call myself a comic artist and I think you can relate um, if you're just magically drawn to stuff like this, to the colors, to the weird stories, and your brain just works a certain way. So, Calvin Hobbes, um, of course, has a special place. And why don't we just take a look at it? So, for everybody who doesn't know Calvin Hobbes, is, it's about uh, Calvin, this guy. And man, I love I love the ones with this girl because she's always I don't know what can I say, but but she gets what she deserves, and sometimes um, Calvin gets what he deserves. So let me let me zoom in a bit. Let me see. Yeah, it works. It works. So hi, Susie. What do you have for lunch today? Don't even talk to me. Don't want to hear um, hear. How disgusting you think my lunch is. My lunch is fine. And I mean, look at this. Just simple. It looks like it's simple drawings, but I think um, you need good layouts. And then he says, relax. I wasn't going to say a word about your lunch. Pass me some salt. Will you please? Here. Thanks. Slugs are so chewy before you shrivel them up. And of course, I don't know. If she can't eat and then like look like not even a border a beautiful tiger and this looks like pretty pretty simple and i'm sure this is already um a later stage of calvin Hobbes when um bill watterson was already very refined in doing his stuff because like cartooning and like drawing this um comic strips i think it looks very easy but it is very hard to do. And um, I think Peanuts has the progression. Hagar, um, the Viking, has the progression. Um, and like every comic strip, even Garfield, goes from an early version. And then I mostly know or love only the later versions when they're very refined. Also like The Simpsons, if you go back... And watch the animated show there is an earlier version and then there's a version when where they really really hone it in and they have it and this is the same here with um bill watterson yes i i, I keep looking but um i i used to 
memorize that. And so his imaginary tiger, which we will see uh, in a second, because like he's just, um, just uh, how do you say? In German we say Stoffpuppe. It's just a puppet. And so he comes home and he says, I'm home. And then, bam. And um, I read the tiger spinal columns are like big coiled springs. I read that the brains, um, that their brains are like big balls of tapioca. What? I don't, I don't get every, everything, but um, I love his parents because like his mother really tries and Calvin is always a handful of work. Let's read this one. Bleach. Bleach. How long are those uh, two gonna kissing? This program only lasts for an hour. Jeez. Look at them. Sobering over each other's faces. Why would anybody do that? Do they like it? And then look at this beautiful face. I mean, this is just like beautiful. And then uh, the mother says, bad time. And then he says, there's a connection here. I just, I just know it. And, well, not everybody's funny, like, uh, not every strip, but um, I remember reading these and really enjoying them very much. Let's see. This is a big collection, and in my childhood I could only dream of having um, such a big collection. Again, I had only a few strips, and I mean, look at this. Like, this is really cool. Like, it's winter. They went, um, what's this called in German? It's called um, Schlittenfahren. And here they crash and here they land. And really beautiful stuff. Also like these drawings. Um, I think it's watercolored inks and watercolor and like really great stuff. And I don't know, I think Calvin um, imagines to be an elephant and i mean look at these cartoons um just like how beautiful they are and this is how he imagines the world and um then um i don't know what's her name susie i think hi calvin boy look at you impressive huh how did you even recognize me i admit it wasn't easy um hey here's the riddle hops made up um, who do Hobbes and I look like? Can you guess? I give up. The Republican Party and Tammy Hall. See? Pretty good. <laughs> and then she walks away and... Um, well, Calvin doesn't break character. Forget it, Hobbes. Political humor is just too sophisticated for girls. Hmm. Her loss. And, like, that's the subtle humor. And um, here we can see... Calvin imagining going home and then his mother finds out and then she Calvin oh what what have you what have you been doing oh. and and it's always situations like this and um, he doesn't want to get a bath and his father is pretty I don't know he's not always there emotionally and mentally and I love when um, Calvin has some different roles here is like a uh, space invader something and they will always try to to do wild stuff and just just adventures he goes through and the things he wants to avoid as a kid like uh, taking a bath it's like he's always trying to goodness you're filthy into the top with you i obey the letter of the law if not the spirit Let's hear some water running. Nuts. And then, I don't know, he gets just out. And this this is, uh, as you can see, I'm home. And then always the tiger gets him. And sometimes I'm home and the tiger doesn't get him. And yeah, just funny stuff. And then again, I'm home. Hello, hops. Six, five, four. And then again, I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Well... So you're home. <laughs> and that's like, that's like great. Or here, um, Hob, uh, Calvin imagines to be two-dimensional and he's just flat and the wind takes him away. And yeah, I don't know. Just his imagination is so great. 
and I love it. Um, yeah, here again, his imagination, he just starts floating. And then, like, I couldn't read it because my parents forgot to pay the gravity bill. Like, that's that's just a classic. That's just great. And it goes on and on. And I love also his father because it's like, I don't know. Let's, let's read this one. Hey, Dad, how does a uh, carburetor work? I can't tell you. Why not? It's a secret. <laughs> no, it isn't. You just don't know. And the father is always like that. It's like uh, Calvin asks him, um, how's this and that working? And the father says, oh, um, it's magic. And Calvin then says, no, it's not. You just don't know it. And and it's so cool because like the father, not that he doesn't care, but he, he doesn't want to explain it to his son. And yeah, many big adventures, some in black and white, some in color. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look at this, like pretty lovely. Um, I call this flat coloring. It's just a yellow, a red, um, a brown or orange. And yeah. And here Calvin imagines to be all, um, what does he say? Bombarded by high energy photos, Calvin is transformed into a living X-ray. Although his condition will facilitate future medical diagnosis, it does make Calvin's presence at the dinner table a disgusting ordeal. Everyone can see Calvin's food being ground, uh, ground into mushy pulp and swallowed. At this moment, Calvin's... Calvin chews up a large spoonful of, cr of cream corn. And then the father says, For gosh sake, close your mouth when you chew. <laughs> you think we want to see that? And I jump, 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 jump. Like, just stuff like that. And it goes on and on. And yeah, pretty, pretty cool and lovely stuff. And um, here he asks, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? Sure, help yourself. You can have an apple or an orange from the fridge. And then he says, even though we're both talking English, we're not speaking the same language. And yeah, well, what can I say? Just great, great stuff. I also like it when um, he drifts off into some strange things, like here he imagines to be very, very tiny. And look at these beautiful drawings, like ink drawings with a bit of color, um, very beautifully scripted. Here he goes all off to a magical carpet ride. And yeah, just a bunch of beautiful, beautiful um, adventures and stories. And um, beautiful is also sometimes there's like um, a, a page full of strips that belong to a storyline. Like here, Calvin gives Hobbes um, the water balloon and then he says, uh, I draw Su Susie's fire and you you can let her have it from behind with your own water balloon. Uh, got it? Okay, let's go. And then uh, he sa she says, thanks for the water balloon, Hobbes. You're a great double agent. And then she um, she gets... Calvin of guard, look at this really beautiful, like the splash, the 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 faces, and then he says, "You betrayer! How how, how could you?" And uh, then they're mad, <clears throat> and stuff like this. Like it goes on and on with beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, just great stuff. Here they go, um, hiking. I think. Like it really progresses and and here they're driving from the hike and um, I think Bill Watterson had also a great deal of fun. Just uh, yeah, let's let's end with this one. Like Calvin Hobbes and here uh, Calvin um, is about to eat or is forced to eat his uh, spinach or broccoli or something green and he's almost dying and uh, yeah. And the parents applaud him. Bravo, bravo for that performance. Just great stuff. So let me know um, what you think about Calvin Hobbes. But yeah, a big, a big, beautiful book with a lot of beautiful um, drawings, poses. 
um, great cartooning. Some of it is just like funny. Some of it is lovely. Um, and yeah, it takes a while. So just keep keep dreaming, keep drawing, keep writing, keep putting out stuff or reading, whatever you do. But yeah, I close this one for today. We see us.